My name is uh, Richard Kopke, and I'm a clinician, uh, and I'm the chief executive officer for Huff Ear Institute, and I lead our research team here, and uh, I'm chief medical officer for Otologic Pharmaceutics. Huff Ear Institute is kind of unique. It is a research institute, so a lot of us wear two hats of research and taking care of patients doing surgery. We see um, just about 21 to 22,000 patients a year here on average. There are 600 million people in the world with significant hearing loss. 300 million of those have disabling hearing loss, um, which means they need a hearing aid or a cochlear implant or something so they can hear well enough to get an education and hold a job. The only technology that's available to help in this area of sensory neural hearing loss, which is the loss of inner and outer hair cells, uh, is either a hearing aid or a cochlear implant. Hearing aids cost about $5,000 every five years, and cochlear implants cost at least $50,000. So 90% of those 300 million people cannot afford even a hearing aid. So being able to regrow the inner and outer hair cells and restore hearing could be uh, just a breakthrough treatment. Once the hair cells are lost, they don't come back. So it's a permanent deficit. This type of hearing loss, nerve deafness, loss of hair cells is very common among farmers and anyone who works on the oil patch. We started with in vitro test tube studies with a silencing RNA approach. There's a protein in the mammalian inner ear that blocks hair cell regeneration. So the silencing RNA uh, destroys the message for that protein and knocks down that protein, which is like a parking brake on the whole regeneration process. And once you knock out that parking brake, then the re regeneration can occur. So the hair cells were regenerated and the hearing was restored in clinical, clinically meaningful uh, amounts. That's something that most people in our field over the years have said would never be possible. But we have two therapeutics. One is a pill that in preclinical models seems to be very effective at treating tinnitus, this perception of uh, noise in the ears uh, that's subjective and very bothersome to people. It also uh, seems to regrow the nerve endings in the inner ear and may be able to restore hearing. That's been through phase one clinical trials, so that's ready for phase two clinical trials and we're you know, reaching out to partners to help carry that forward. We're really um, committed to seeing this through. Millions of people will have restored hearing worldwide.